Hi everyone, this is Rajshekar Bhagavatala from Marvel Chess Academy. Welcome to my series of chess lectures. In the previous lecture, we have learned about files, ranks and square names. Now we move on to learn about various piece moves. We will start first by looking at the rook. A rook moves along a file and a rank. So I will highlight all the squares to which the rook can move to. Let us start by first moving along the file. The rook can go to d1, d2, d3, d5, d6, d7 and d8. I have highlighted all the squares to which the rook can move on the d5. Now we move the rook along the rank. It can move to a4, b4, c4, e4, f4, g4 and h4. The path of the rook looks like the plus symbol. Let me show you. The rook moves on the file and the rank and the path looks like a plus symbol. I hope this makes sense to you. Let us try looking at the next puzzle. Can you highlight all the squares where this rook can move to? Take your time, pause the video and write down the square names in a piece of paper and then check with the answer and see if you got it right. I hope you have paused the video and have come up with the answer. The rook can move along the G file and second rank. If you have highlighted all the squares on the G file and all the squares along the second rank, you got it right. The rook can move along the G file and second rank. Let's move on to the next puzzle. Can you highlight or write down all the square names to where this rook can move? Please pause the video and write down your answers. I hope you have paused the video and come up with your answer. The rook can move along the E file and 7th rank. If you have violated or written down the square names of all the squares on E file and 2nd rank, you got it right. Let's move on to the next puzzle. Can you write down all the square names where this rook can move to? Yes, the rook can move along the h file and 7th rank. If your answer matches the highlighted square as shown on the screen, you got it right. It is now time to move on and learn a little more complex problems. We'll be start by we'll start by looking at captures. Let me tell you what is meant by a capture. A capture is a typical move in chessboard where a white piece or a black piece tries to capture or kill an enemy piece. In this position, you can see there are two black pawns on the seventh rank on e7 and d7. We have to capture the black pawns with our white rook and note that the black pawns are not going to move. So white has to capture a pawn on every move and see if you can collect all the pawns. So as I said in the earlier puzzle, the rook can move along the file and rank. So in this case, first we are going to capture the e7 pawn and then we are going to capture the b7 pawn. And now we captured all the black pawns. Let us try solving another puzzle. Here there are two black pawns, one on d2 
and other on D7. Feel free to pause the video and see that if you, uh, if you are able to capture the pawns. Know that you have to capture a pawn in every move. I hope you have paused the video. If you have come up with the solution, rook takes d2 and then rook takes d7, you got it right. You can also do first rook takes d7 and then rook takes d2. Both the answers are valid. Let's move on to the next puzzle. Please pause the video and write down your answer. Yes. So now in this case, we can move the rook first to a4 and then to g4. It is also possible that we capture first g4 and then take the a4, a4 pawn. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is a little complex than the previous examples that we have seen. One has to be careful while planning the moves. So it's important to plan your moves ahead so that you don't leave behind any pawn. So let me show you an example. It is always possible for beginners to find, they find it a little hard to find and solve this problem. But once they understand the logic, it is easy to solve the other puzzles. Let me show you what might go wrong first. Remember, we have to capture a pawn in every move. Here, if white starts first by capturing the d7 pawn and then goes back to capture the d2 pawn, now there are no more pawns left on the d file or the second rank. So white left behind two pawns uncaptured. Let's go back. What happens if we capture the d7 pawn first and then capture the a7 and then capture the h7 pawn? As you can see, there are no more pawns left on the h file or the 7th rank. There is one pawn left on d2 uncaptured. That is not right. So we need to plan our moves ahead. Now we realize that we have to capture the d2 pawn first, then the d7, then the a7, and then the h7. Now you can see we have captured all the pawns perfectly. I hope this makes sense to you. Let's try and see if you can solve the next puzzle. Please pause the video, plan your moves ahead, and ensure that you capture a pawn in every move. And remember, white pawns are not going to move. I hope you have come up with the solution and have written down your answer. So the first, the rook takes the pawn on b7, then the pawn on b3, pawn on b2, pawn on e2, and then pawn on g2. Congratulations if you have matched this answer. I hope you know you are getting the feel of how the rook moves on. Let's try one more puzzle. See if you can solve it. Feel free to pause the video. Take as much time as required. Plan your moves ahead and see if you can capture all the pawns capturing one pawn at a time on every move. I hope you have written down your answer. So let us start by looking at the solution. Rook captures h6 first. Rook takes b6. Rook takes b3. Rook takes d3. And then rook takes d7. Let's move on to the next one. Can you capture all the pawns? One pawn at a time on every move. I hope you have paused the video and come up with your answer. 
let's look at the solution root takes g2 root takes h2 root takes h3 root takes d3 root takes a3 and then root takes a6 let's look at one more puzzle this would be the last one Please pause the video and see if you can find the solution. Yes. So I hope you have paused the video and written down your answer. Let us see the solution now. Rook takes h6. Rook takes g6. Rook takes g2. Rook takes g7. And rook takes f7. Congratulations if you have got your answers. And then I think we can conclude the session on the rooks here. I hope you now understand how the rook moves and you have mastered the move. Thank you.